Chairman Brasso, first of all, thank you so much uh, for holding this hearing. After GSA announced that they were terminating the consolidation of the FBI prospectus, uh, you and I talked and you immediately offered to hold this hearing, and I want to thank you very much for that. I want to thank Ranking Member Carper for his cooperation in scheduling this hearing. I I'm going to start by just expressing a great deal of frustration as to how this process has gone forward. The delay, the mixed messages that we've received on financing, and the ignoring of the action of this committee and of Congress. As a result, there's been a waste of taxpayer money, significant waste of money, and we've compromised the FBI's ability to carry out its critical mission. That is plainly unacceptable, and I think this committee deserves an explanation. I hope today that there will be a, a way forward uh, that we can move towards a consolidated facility for the FBI in a very quick way so that we can move on uh, for the taxpayers of this country and the important mission that the FBI carries out. So let me elaborate on what I just said. The FBI has been in the Hoover Building since 1974. It lacks usable, uh, usable space. They're in 15 different lease locations around the District of Columbia, causing an inefficiency in their operations, additional costs to the taxpayers, and inability to collaborate uh, which is important for the FBI to carry out its function, uh, and it does, lacks the security that is necessary for the FBI. All that is known, it's been known for many, many years. There was reports done uh, seven years ago, eight years ago, and in 2011, the GSA, FBI, came to this committee and said, we need help, do something about it. And in 2011, six years ago, Mr. Chairman, this committee took action we passed a prospectus in 2011. That prospectus said very clearly, you're directed to proceed with a private sector lease transaction on federally owned land for a consolidated headquarter facility. We recognize that. We gave you the authority. When we give you the authority, we expect that that's going to be carried out and that you're going to work with this committee. So what happened next? Well, GSA and OMB said, no, we don't want to use a lease facility. We want to pay for it up front. Now, that's a heavy lift to put all that money in the budget uh, for Congress to be able to put in excess of a billion dollars at the time, now close to $2 billion, into a budget in one year to pay for one consolidated facility. But that's what, that's what GSA and OMB wanted. So we proceeded with that. Congress uh, cooperated. In FY16, $390 million was put into the, the appropriation bill. In FY17, $523 million additional dollars were put into the appropriation process. In addition, the Appropriations Committee, in their report, made it clear that they would provide the additional monies in FY18 necessary to complete the project. And as the chairman pointed out, this was based upon the exchange of the Hoover Building, which added additional resources to this project. In 2013, GSA went forward with uh, the request for information. Three sites were selected, seven proposals were filed, and GSA came back to this committee in 2016, said we should update the prospectus in order that it comply with how GSA was proceeding. We passed a new prospectus for you in 2016, giving you all the authority you needed. So what happened next is very hard for us to understand. President Trump's FY18 budget contained zero for the FBI. That's un we don't exactly understand that if we're proceeding with a cash transaction. Congress was prepared to move forward, as I've already indicated, by the report language we put in and the monies that we put in. And then, what I don't understand at all, and I hope this is explained to me, on July 12, 2017, without notice to this committee, GSA cancels the procurement. Cancels the procurement. Okay, why? Not enough money appropriated by Congress? Well, the Congress appropriated, put a large sum of money, the President said it didn't need any more money because he put no money in the FY18 budget. Was it canceled because you want to go now to a lease arrangement? We gave you that authority in 2011. 
to use the least authority? Why would you cancel and not come back to us and say, well, we're changing directions? Are you saying we don't need a consolidated facility for the FBI? I hope that's not the case, because the FBI needs a consolidated facility. So I hope we get some answers as to why it was handled in this way, and how can we move forward in an appropriate way, but in a way that recognizes that the NEPA studies have already been done on these three locations. We know about that. We already have a lot of the work done. I think GSA has created a legal problem now because of the word cancellation of, a, of the prospectus. I don't understand why you did that, but maybe you can explain how we're going to move forward and how you're going to respect the will of this committee and Congress. When we told you originally you use a lease purchase, you came back and said you want to use appropriations. We provided the money, and then you don't go forward. I hope we get some answers.